Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss about the secant method. In our previous uh, video, I talked about a Newton Raphson method and regular falsi method. In numerical analysis, the secant method is a root finding algorithm that uses succession of roots of secant lines to better approximate a root of a function f. So, secant method can be thought of as finite difference approximation of Newton's method. So, let's see with the graph, with the help of graph, we can better understand. And this is a graph and is f of x1 and these are f of x0, x2 and x3 the x axis and y axis and it's a good so, second method is also a recursive method for finding the root for polynomials by successive approximation it is similar to the regular falsi method but where here we don't need to check f of x1, f of x2 or less than hand 0 again and again after every approximation in this method the neighborhoods root are approximated by secant line or code to the function of f of x it is also advantages of this method that we don't need to differentiate the given function f x as we do in newton raphson method so you can see this graph So let's better understand with this example. Compute the root of equation x to the power 2 e power minus x oblique 2 is equal to 1 in the interval. Intervals are here 0 and 2 using the second. So root should be correct to 3 decimal places. But in exam, sometimes decimal places are not mentioned. Then you have to find out uh, when solution. So, so in the numerical method the iterations are the questions are very long due to their uh, number of iterations so let's see so here is x is 1.402 and x1 is 1 minus 43 so fx0 is this and and fx1 is this to apply the secant method the first approximation is and formula is here so we are applying these uh, values in this formula and now after solving this we get 1 minus 4296 the power of x2 when we are applying in here so the answer of equation is this in negative so the second approximation is x3 and we are putting the formula here applying value in this formula and the answer is this since x2 and x3 matching up the three decimal places so required root is 1.429 so here is mentioned for three decimal places but sometimes uh, in book uh, there is no such restriction so it will take time so here is another example a real root of equation f of x is x3 minus 5x plus 1 here is equal to 0 then lies in the interval 0 and 1 perform 4 iterations of the secant so here is mentioned in the question of 4 iteration so it will easy your work and saves time so first x0 is uh, 0 this and x1 is 1 so fx0 is 1 and fx1 is minus 3. And we are putting this value in the equation. So we will get this. So we applied all values in this formula and we get 0 0.25 which is positive. So x2 then answer is negative. So the second approximation is here. like that we have to learn this formula and and you know how to get 
how to take out these values and basically calculator are, is allowed so there is no, no big problem for that so in the book uh, the formula is this x and minus 1 power and this this so you can use with uh, calculate with this also then 